What's up everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Here back with another video guys. Really excited about today's video guys. I've been waiting for a long time to do this to the truck. Ya teníamos rato y le queríamos hacer esto a la troca. As y'all can see, my headliner is missing. It's all gutted in here. It looks really ugly. But I'm actually making two videos in the same week uh, because I want to upload more constantly. I got a lot of good feedback in the last video and it kind of gave me like some motivations to start doing this more seriously and more often um so today guys we're taking the truck we're dropping it off uh to get the transmission built usually i do all the work on my truck myself but the only thing i really never done before is build a performance transmission and that i don't want to mess up because otm is coming i really want to make it um uh, and so i'm just going to take it to this good guy they recommended me uh, they say he's really good with performance stuff other than that, uh, when that's done, uh, if there's still time, we're going to take the engine out and build it. If not, we're just going to throw a small tune, hopefully. Uh, that way we can put it in the burnout pit. But if not, uh, it all depends on the time we have. But today, we're going to drop it off and get that transmission built. He says it's going to take like two to three days. In the meantime, I'm finishing this up. I'm, up, I'm doing the upholstery on the headliner. It was actually my first time, but uh, it's pretty easy. You guys can do it too. It's, it's pretty easy. It's no, uh, nothing complicated. Uh, but let's get it, guys. Uh, we just got out of work right now. Really tired, guys. I want to go to sleep. Ya me quiero dormir. Estoy incansado. Quiero ir a ver la tele. But I want to push out these videos for you guys. You guys are uh, giving me a lot of good feedback. And I'm going to start doing this more often. Let's go. Mucha tragona. She eats a lot of gas all the time. All right, guys. Ya pusimos gas. We put gas already. Uh, we're about to head out. We got a... 53 minute drive guys freaking far i really don't want to go i want to go home i'm tired but i want to make these videos for you guys so let's go get the drop off the truck and let's get it hermano cayo la ley esta la ley We're about to pull up. Ya me venía durmiendo y eso que vengo manejando. Nada, no se crean. We're about to pull up. It's beautiful over here. You can see. Man, nothing but country over here. A lot of ranches. I think it's called Lido. Little Lido, something like that. It was a pretty far drive for us, but you can see we got nine minutes left. Drop it off. Wait for my Uber to pick me up. He said it was a pretty fast turnaround. He said he should have it back. Today is Wednesday. He's gonna start working on it till tomorrow. Uh, he said by Sunday he should be ready. That's perfect because I'm off on Sunday. I can get a ride or something and come pick it up. Alright guys, it says we're about to get here. I don't know if it's really here. Pero, it says it's right there. Who's man's bro? Mira lo que me hay aquí. Alright guys, we're gonna drop off the truck. Oh, you can see a radiator right there. Uh, he just said to leave it right here. He can me va a hablar en unos cuatro días. Got my Uber. Playing some trap shit. Yeah, more videos, some videos, some videos. Some videos. Some videos. Some videos. Some videos. This guy lives far as from my house. Like a freaking 30 minute drive. And then it's gonna be like an hour drive to get the truck. Might as well stop for some modelos. Nah, none of the Don't drink and drive, guys. This guy probably fell asleep already. Man, it's far. 
But yeah, guys, I'm really excited. I haven't t I haven't told you what we did to the truck, but what we did. Uh, ride on to let me see. We have a little bit of time to tell you. So what we did. Uh, build transmission. I ha I pay for somebody to do it. That's the only thing I'm gonna pay for somebody to do because I really don't know how to build transmissions. I never done it. Uh, basically a stage two, I believe. Uh, we just got to my boy's house. So I'm gonna have to explain it. Peor regañado, miren. Always crying. Why are you always sad, bro? They got on your ass again, right? This fucking lab, bro. Huh? This is fucking mad. Why? Get it, Wee. What are you gonna get? Hell oh, yeah, my boy. Hey, but you're not old enough, bro. You're too old. <laughs> he doesn't know my other door's broken. I, I gotta get in through here, bro. My other door's broken. Are you legit? Yeah. That's why I got. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not fucking up. You don't want to got freaking. Gotta put this on, dog. Okay. We're about to pull up. Your destination is on the way. motor is this? This is the one that comes from the truck, right? The iron? This is one intake and accessories. Damn, my son. I have problems with the fuel pressure, so I'm going to have to order a fuel pressure regulator. That's a bad little car, dude. 1,000 pounds. When that wire harness was hard to switch everything over, you just... Nah, shit, I do that in the... Look at my feet. I do my own harnesses. I've been trying to find a lift kit, bro. That's all right, man. A lift kit, man, they should've come back. I, I just threw away a truck. <laughs> I forgot to throw those fucking things on. You wanna do a rough country? Oh, like six, six, five, six, eight. Damn, bro. This is your... Your check valve was stuck. You had double gasket on it. Pinches. Somebody did a bad job on it. Pinches chuntaros. There's your stock converter, your old stock converter right there. So I think she shows you, like, normally shows you that done, bro. Here your clutches. Stainless steel, everything. Question now, real quick question. Do you want to, like, say if anything happens within three months? I'm not performance for the mission, I don't. Okay, so i I don't get, but what I'll do, if you break it, I'll fix it once for you. Mm -hmm. But you have to pay labor. That's right. Yeah, it's because performance, bro. You already know, like, yeah, people is not gonna. Break. Yeah, it's gonna break. It, anything performance can break at any fucking. That's respect. That's understandable. Yeah, I mean, it happens to us with the new parts and. This is the teeth on your truck, on your transmission. <sighs> you were about two, three days from not having a truck driving. <laughs> this is first, second. See how black that is? Damn. That's mine, dog. That's it. Black one, too. Look how burned that is. So don't don't be burning out in first, second, or third gear. La, la dejo en tercera. Oh, en tercera? Okay. If you're gonna race somebody, third gear. Third gear. This is how they're supposed to look. Rojitos. Oh. See how black is in the middle? See. Sí. Okay, this is a new clutch. I'm gonna swing in first. This is a new clutch. Like it's, this is exactly the same one as this one. Damn. Oh, this is a first and second. First gear. That's just, yeah, that's the same clutch. Damn, this shit was gone, bro. Look at the difference. Shh. And these are exciting clutches. They're not the cheap ones. No, mm -hmm. los caros. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I put new metal seats. We're gone on it. Ay, way. I see nothing. That one just barely got a lot of. I couldn't even take it out. The drum that there's no good either because of the shaft. This is your park. The drum that part puts it in park. The teeth on it are wore out inside. There was that was stuck to this. I had to beat it out with a hammer. Damn. 
Estaba mala por todos lados. Sí, no, es que estaba tal para atrás. Well, the first mistake was this right here. They put, a, they put a double gasket on it. Sí. Either put the, what it takes or don't put nothing at all. Mm -hmm. And then the check valve was stuck in there. So we put, uh, we got rid of all that shit and we put a brand new uh, bonded, which are these. And I, I ordered them brand new from GM. So these are the pistons that, go, that are in your truck. Ooh, high performance pistons. Damn. Anybody who has blue pistons has a shit to give. You got a chip kit, like this one. Oh, the trans goes with a marca, no? You got a misuse. Uh, this is the difference in the spring. This is a stock one, this is a bug warner one. This is not professionally here, man. Don't, don't judge by the house, you know what I mean? You mean mug, bro? It's no, it's expensive. It but if you do a whole complete job, it gets expensive because you gotta buy everything. Yeah, you gotta pay to play. Yeah. Now this one's your drum, your upper reverse drum. See how marked it is? Damn. We put another one in there, a cleaner one. God. Look, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, don't tell anybody I'm fast kind of deal. Well, oh, a sleeper. You got headers on it? I'm trying to make a farm truck. I'm trying to be the fastest sleeper ever. <laughs> That's all I'm on, bro. This guy has a video where he raced a Hellcat, and he was like right here. But he had a cam and everything. He's got a fully built transmission, 456 gears. First first performance, why would you do the cam or would you do the transmission first? Transmission. Para que, pa que support, ¿verdad? Lo que tengas. Because I think I got 372 gears. Or 342. Right, you, need, you need to have strong transmission yeah, so yeah, it can yeah, support. Yeah. And then drive shot too. Yeah. No, esa está bien perra, si no se ven esas. Esta no se vende. Uh -huh. Usted le fabrica el harness. Uh -huh. No, eso lo compro, pero I can do it too. Ah, la chica. Esta en alguna no se vende. Yeah. Coming in next, gonna get plugged in. The main one get me right. A month and a half. Gotta sell some stuff. He's giving the las nalgas, we. Oh, <laughs> you try to hold it back. I knew you wanted to smile. You... <laughs> Guys, I'm more than happy with this transmission. How it came out. We really don't have time right now to uh, to do any like burnouts. Because my boy Mari has to go home already. But I'll see if I can do right one right now when we get to the stop sign. But man, I am more than happy. Guys, I cannot describe how happy I am right now. The truck came out sick. My, my boy Marvin, the truck came out really sick. The truck came out really sick. So now, uh, let me see if I can explain a little better because I didn't really have time earlier. So it was a full rebuild by my my, my boy Santos Transmissions. Uh, I didn't really get to get a sticker so I can show you his logo, but I do recommend everybody to go to him. Full rebuild, blue pistons, red clutches. Uh, my output shaft was broken, he replaced that. The part drum, he replaced that as well. Uh, it was a 22, 28, I believe, 22, 20 something. Yeah, 22, 28 uh, stock converter uh, and a true cool with the uh, new new fluid, obviously. Uh, he said one of the check balls was also stuck. And uh, man, this truck, it's crazy because you, you wouldn't think a transmission makes would, would make a big difference like this, but it actually feels like the truck has more, more, more power if y'all know what I mean like I mean I, I didn't really think it was gonna feel more powerful but it's crazy how much powerful it feels uh, like I, I be peeling off I, I peeled off and the, the tires just burn and burn like easy and this truck never ever did that to me ever like it was really hard to get get, get this truck to burn out in first place um, I knew since I bought this truck the transmission was a, a tire already a little bit messed up whoever had it before me really didn't take care of it and uh Yeah, guys, uh, 
I, I knew eventually this I would have to rebuild it, so eventually I got the money together so I could do a, a actual good uh, performance build. And man, that's crazy how much that that old stuff in the transmission before it was rebuilt right now, it was like bogging up the engine. It was like holding it. It wasn't letting it do its thing, you know? It's crazy how much power it has now. Well, not power, but it feels like it transfers the power better now. It, hand, it shifts a lot better too. It was sluggish, that old, that old transmission. Well, it's the same one, but you know what I mean? It was sluggish and slow and that's crazy. Now, tomorrow, today is Saturday, Monday. If everything goes good, I'm gonna take the motor out so we can put that cam in there and, and stop playing around. We're gonna go for real now. I, I didn't wanna do a, a build like this because I wanted to enjoy the truck, but I didn't realize you, you could have a reliable everyday truck if you do it right uh, like my friend was explaining to me santos transmissions you could have a powerful build truck to use it as a daily if, if you do it right and man this truck even the rpms with the stall the rpms went down and they're not that much higher and i'm going 70 and it's crazy because it's not even that loud inside no more i was wearing some earplugs on the way over here when i dropped it off because it was so loud and made my head hurt right now you can't even hear the engine that's crazy how much better the, the truck feels uh we really didn't get no burn up videos today but we're gonna have to make one tomorrow i guess so i can show you how easily it does it now uh man it makes a big difference big really big difference Well guys there you guys have it another video the truck got a build trans running great big really big difference we're gonna get a uh, street tune next week by the same guy that did the transmission y'all make sure y'all hit him up santos transmissions i'm gonna put his phone number right here he does all kinds of performance builds motors and trans uh he also does tuning wiring if you want to do ls swaps um all kinds of work like that what we did for the truck that's a bill 4060 e uh, i'm sorry 4060 uh boost valve shift kit corvette servo red clutches all the way uh we replaced my park drum because it was broken in the output shaft uh and the stall it's a high stall 2228 the brand i believe is called torxilla something like that and it makes a really big difference this truck felt really sluggish ever since i bought it and I was wondering why. I, I always had a sus suspicion that it was the trans because the engine, the engine always uh, felt really good. It was just, it felt like the power transfer wasn't really good. And also, uh, he hooked us up with the True Cool. I believe it's called 40K or something like that, the big one. And that way we can keep the transmission cool. Y'all make sure y'all hit him up. Santos Transmissions. I'm gonna put it. In. When you're driving normal, you don't even feel the shifts at all. It, it feels wonderful, almost like a Cadillac. But when you, you give it to it, when you step on it, you, you can feel it like the shifts are really firm. It doesn't slip or anything. It just shifts re really firm. And then uh, he's going he's gonna to do our tune next week. Uh, and we're going to go back for that. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to do a little bit of maintenance this week on it. Guys, make sure y'all stay tuned for the next videos. We're going we're gonna to be... I made two two videos in one week, uh, but I'm only gonna upload one because it's too much editing. But I'm finishing off the headliner. I have it at my house right now. We're doing black suede for now. Guys, make sure y'all stay tuned. Lots of more things coming up for this truck and the other trucks. 
uh thank you for everybody that uh supported me on the last video really appreciate that uh make sure y'all leave a comment like and subscribe guys i'll see you on the next one